All right, hey, what's up everybody? Landing with LMR.com, it's Dino Day. Uh, we got a really good one for you today. This is Dragula. And the reason why we call it Dragula, it had pretty much like a coffin interior. So with that, and I think it had some Weld Pro Stars on it, don't quote me on that, but it had some drag wheels. So kind of what rolled off the tongue, we like to kind of just name cars. Dragula is kind of what stuck. So as time went on, uh, y'all remember this car. If you've been around the channel a while, this is the car that we did the AOD to T5 swap in, as well as the uh, On3 turbo kit. And here we are, the car has changed drastically. Uh, it's had new paint, the engine bay has been gone through, the interior has been gone through, uh, some underside chassis stuff has been sorted, but more importantly, sitting between the frame rails now is a 393 cubic inch 351 base push rod engine so we're going to give you a quick rundown on the specs but some more itemized granular stuff related to uh, the build and all that good stuff i'll have down in the description for you so got some notes here on my phone uh, like i said 393 cubic inch engine rocking trick flow 11 r 205 cylinder heads and that's going to put our compression ratio about 11 to 1 trick flow stage 3 camshaft trick flow r intake 90 millimeter throttle body got a pro m engine management system on it pro m mass airflow meter 47 pound injection it has an SVE fuel system, BBK one and three quarters inch long tube headers, custom three inch mid pipe uh, with Jones full bore mufflers and three inch Flowmaster tailpipes. Got a Tremec 3550 transmission, so the pulls will be made in fourth gear, which will give us our one to one ratio. Has an aluminum drive shaft, 355 rear gear, and then out back that's an 18 inch SVE drag comp with a 285 35 18 tire. We do have 93 octane fuel in the tank, obviously. Uh, the calibration, of course, uh, is, is, is custom related to the Pro-M software and the management system. I think we're at 10 degrees base timing, and then uh, within the tune and within the calibration, that timing ramps up throughout the RPM range. Not sure on total timing. So all that good stuff out of the way. Y'all know the drill. We'll make a quick trip around the car, make sure we're good to go, and we're going to make a hit. All right, everybody, we'll go ahead and take a look at some numbers on Dragula. We did do a couple pulls and the car, I would say, is, is, is dialed in. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely. Uh, I think there always is in most cases, uh, but we're just gonna show you the one pull today since they all mimicked each other. This is the best pull that it did. 386.1 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 410.6 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPM. We have a real nice, pretty curve. I mean, the torque comes on instantly you know we did a pull from 3000 because that's kind of the happy spot for the uh, intake manifold and the camshaft and all that good stuff but i mean we're at 350 plus pound feet of torque right off the rip now let's look at the turbo graph uh just for comparison's sake real quick though whenever dragula did have the turbo it had a pretty wore out stock bottom in 302 with gt40 heads and an explorer intake one of the better runs that the car did with the turbo was 443 horsepower at 5800 rpm and 414.2 pound-feet of torque at 5,400 RPM. Yes, the turbo made more power and torque overall, but if we take a closer look at the graph, look at how long it takes the turbo to spool before it starts making power. The NA393 engine is making over 100 pound-feet of torque more and nearly 100 horsepower more than the Turbo 302 in the curb at the lower RPM range. Yes, as cool as forced induction is, whether it be turbocharger, supercharger, or nitrous, it sometimes it's just hard to beat simple, naturally aspirated power. The 393 sounds absolutely incredible. This is probably one of my favorite sounding Fox body Mustangs I've ever personally heard. It makes great power and torque across the entire RPM range, and it has great road manners when out cruising the streets. Other than that, if y'all have a similar setup or you know you've had an engine that you've built in the past and it's made some numbers, share it with us. We like to hear y'all's feedback as well. Let us know where where you think uh, the car can make a little bit more power. Like I said, you know, there's still some tweaking we can do, uh, you know, to squeeze more out of it. I really like this car. Uh, we kind of position it more of a catalog car. So what I mean by that is we run through our website and it features pretty much almost every single part we sell uh, is on this car. So uh, that's pretty neat to say that, you know, you can hop on our website and pretty much build exactly what you see here. So we're gonna turn y'all loose as always. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find value in the dyno videos. If you did, go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time we release something new. And then uh, until we catch you in the next dyno video, y'all know what to do for all things Fox Body Mustangs. Keep it right here with the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.